In this video, I'm going to show you how to list using HydraLister 2.0's Batch Lister. So on the left-hand side of the navigation, you're just going to click on Batch Lister. And you're going to take the product URLs for your items and copy them and paste them into the Batch Lister. You can paste as little or as many as you want. And they can be from different suppliers, so they don't all have to be from the same source. You want to remove any referral information that's at the end of your URLs. Alright, so I've got three overstock items. I just want to head over to Amazon and grab a few others. So let's say I grab these two. And with Amazon, remember, you can list with just the ASIN number or the actual um, product URL. All right. So I have my batch here. Um, when you batch list, you will not be able to use strike through pricing. Um, also, if you needed to make any changes to your business policies or shipping or handling times, they needed to be changed in your settings, in your default settings under settings, batch, single list or settings prior to you listing the batch. All right. So because a batch with a regular batch, these items are going to be listed as is from the supplier and they're going to be listed according to your default settings, whatever they are. And also, you will not be able to edit the listings before they are posted. So if your suppliers, for example, like Overstock, they include item numbers in the description, you won't be able to take those out. Um, so, you know, but the batch, of course, allows you to go faster, especially if you're using uh, scrapers to scrape URLs or ASIN numbers and dump into a batch lister. So you just copy and paste and then select the country you're listing in. If you would like to add a custom formula for this batch, you can do so. So you just hit list with custom formula, add your vendor tax, whatever margins you would like. Um, let's just say this is going to be for a fixed margin of two of $3, and um, go ahead and enter their PayPal fees. All right. And you want manual override set to no. Okay. And then hit, hit launch. If you decide you don't want to override anymore, then hit cancel. Okay. Then your five items will move into the queue to be listed as a batch. Hit close. If you go to your item list, you will see that these items are listed in the queue to be listed. Notice how it took my Amazon ASIN numbers and converted them into a full Amazon URL. And the status of these items is still pending. They have not been listed to eBay yet. The, and since they have not been listed to eBay yet, they've also not been exported to SKU Grid. So it will take some time for a batch to get processed. It could be anywhere from five to 10 minutes to an hour. Just really depends on how many items you have listed and how many people are in queue ahead of you. As you can see, the items have now posted successfully. They appear in the item list. You see the eBay item IDs, the status has changed to listed, and they've been exported to SKU Grid at this point.